welcome back for another fetch ai prize update video and in this video i will be giving you areas that fetch ai needs to continue holding above give you my pullback target areas and also my long-term additive analysis and at the time of this recording fetch ai is holding above the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up and the next key area of resistance that we need to see a break above is at around the 0.39 dollar mark and a break above that key area of resistance with a retest then there are high chances that we can easily see fetch ai get above the 0.43 dollar mark fetch ai is also holding above a significant area of support at around the 0.33 dollar mark which is also acting as support for us to continue gearing up and zooming out on the charts to first give you my long-term additive analysis here on the fetch ai chart you can see that back in 2022 we saw our lows at around the 0.0523 dollar mark before fetch ai gave us a massive push to the upside in a five wave structure having the wave five giving us a high above the 0.61 dollar mark completing the formation of this wave one and after seeing the formation of that first wave we started a corrective structure in the formation of this wave two where we saw this pullback into the minimum target area for that second wave highlighted on the charts using this red target area which is an area that you have now fully maximized and there are high chances that we now have a low in place for that wave two and fetch ai is now ready for a massive pump in the formation of this wave three and the minimum target areas for the third wave can be given by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is above the one dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect fetch ai to do in the formation of that wave three and because of the impulsiveness in the formation of that wave three i'm also expecting to see micro edge to have counts play out within the wave three and here on the charts you can now see that i'm trying to track this edge to have structure where i'm terming this uh move to the upside giving us a high at around the 0.2741 dollar mark is the formation of that wave one then we saw a bit of a pullback over here in the formation of this wave two giving us a low at around the 0.19 dollar mark and we saw a reaction of the minimum target area for the second wave highlighted on the charts using the blue target area to the upper side breaking above significant areas of resistances where you can now easily see that fetch ai has now given us a high in the formation of this wave three at around the 0.39 dollar mark and that was the target area that i gave you in my previous videos which we fully hit by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the wave one to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a target area at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.3779 dollar mark which is an area that you have now fully maximized and after seeing the formation of that wave three what we expect next is a corrective move in the formation of this wave four and this is what i've been anticipating to see here on the fetch ai chart having my minimum target areas being given by connecting the fibs from the low of the second wave to the high of that wave three giving me a target area between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.5 and that is between the 0.3175 dollar mark and the 0.2949 dollar mark which is the area that i have highlighted on the charts using this red target area and what that means is that in case we continue seeing further pullback in the next coming hours and maybe at some point we lose support at around the 0.3 dollar mark then there are high chances that fetch ai is going to nuke into this red target area 
give us a low in the formation of this wave 4, find support and then give us a massive bounce back to the upper side in the formation of that wave 5 and get above the 0.4 dollar mark. Alternatively, in case we get into this red target area and we see a break out of this red target area to the lower side and continue heading further down, then I will be expecting support at around the 0.2564 dollar mark where we can find support and then get a massive bounce back to the upper side. And on the worst case scenario, in case we lose the 0.2564 dollar mark, then a reset of the loss that you made at around the 0.19 dollar mark can be seen here on the charts. We also need to have in mind that there are chances that we can also see a massive push to the upside given that we are holding above significant areas of support. Maybe get one more high above the 0.4 dollar mark before we can see that massive breakdown into the target area for these we fall here on the charts. Those are the possible scenarios that you need to have in mind. And that is what I'm watching out here on the Fetch AI on the short term and also on the long term. And I hope that video was of much help to you and I hope to catch you in the next one.